とは Welcome to Starkville, Mississippi, affectionately referred to as Stark Vegas, where earplugs are highly recommended because the cowbells will be ringing. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see the number 18 team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs. Taking on a team who is rested and ready, coming off the bye, the Mississippi State Bulldogs. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to... Georgia likely to kick it deep to get things started. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. So Mississippi State's offense will get the first swing of the game. And here he is. Let me tell you about this wide receiver. He is a route-running, DB-toasting, pass-catching, touchdown-scoring, son of a gun. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this defense is going to try and corral this guy because you play man-to-man, -man, you risk him running right by you and catching the deep ball, but you play zone and you give him the opportunity to potentially make yards after the catch. You're going to have to be really careful trying to cover that dude. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. So the Georgia Bulldogs offense will take the field for the first time. This is just a great matchup to watch on the outside and who can win downfield in the passing game. Man, this reminds me of 1997, Charles Woodson versus David Boston. Two physical athletes that are going to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe all game long. Yeah, two alphas. Two guys that play the positions where you have to have such confidence. Cornerback, wide receiver. Let's see this throwdown. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. They'll give it to the back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Now on third down for this offense. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. The dogs are flying down the field. It's a reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. They'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. On the run, it's Robinson. And he's wrestled to the ground. Trying to wear down this defense. A seventh play of the drive. It's third and one. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Georgia coming out with a fresh set of downs. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. Pushing ahead, a tough run. Picks up four. It's down at the 15. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Georgia. 
and they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. On to attempt the try. And the extra point makes it 7-0. That drive covers 62 yards for the touchdown. And they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. You've got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable with that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. He found a hole, got about five. He's down at the 21. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. He leaves it with his back. Tough sledding in there. Picks up a couple, but still needs two more on fourth down. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. The offense set for a first down play. Gonna run it. It's Robinson. They'll get him at the 45, but he got 10 on that one. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. Using the quick game. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Oh, he's looking to throw. Incomplete, and they tried to catch him flat-footed on first down, but the defense was ready. Here comes the offense on second down. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Catch in the middle. It's Tuggle. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one. Not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe. And don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early. Be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast. You gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment. Under pressure, and down he goes at the 33. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's gonna slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Really need to find a productive play this time on second and long. Running back goes in motion. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. Delay, delay, delay. Offense. Offense. Offense took a little bit too much time at the line there. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. The short hands. It's Evans. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Third and long from the 30-yard line in this defense, hoping to knock them out of field goal range. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. And there is a degree of difficulty with this one. A 47-yarder from the right hatch. And the try is no good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. Here comes the Mississippi State offense ready to attack. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Flushed out of the pocket. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. Quarterback stands alone. All wide receivers. Thank you. 
Well, guys, it's Georgia holding the lead at the end of the quarter. We've played one. Before we move on, let's have a look at the stats. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Williams. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give him a first down. And the Bulldogs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And these RPOs always put the defense in a bind. But listen, they give up the run. They get a short little game. No harm, no foul. The give to Davis. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Here on third down for this offense. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and 10. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. Third down has been right in the wheelhouse on this drive. They've already converted a couple of times, but they need the full 10 yards now. That's incomplete. Tried to set up the screen, and he dropped the pass. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. No good. No good. And they couldn't cut into the lead. It's still a seven-point game. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Got his man downfield. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much. A shot toward the end zone, and swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. He'll keep it himself. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Looking to throw for it. He makes a grab. And to the end zone. Touchdown Bulldogs. That touchdown gives his team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out and start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work that way, but when you do, man, the energy, the crowd, everybody's into it. Now the other team better respond. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. A lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Vanderbilt is currently trailing, but this has been a back-and-forth affair. If that quarterback can find a little magic a la Jay Cutler, this might not be over just yet. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Auburn. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. From the gun, the running back has it. And he delivers the blow, and he's still running. 
That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. What perfect execution on that big run. Everything perfectly blocked, and this guy doesn't need a lot of room. I love how this offensive line communicates and works up front. You see guys winning their one-on-one -on -one battles. There's double teams happening. Guys are getting into the second level and creating big lanes for this running back. He'll do it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Mississippi State going up-tempo. Brings up third down. On third down, he drops the throw. Works the middle. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. He'll try to really get into this one. And that is textbook instructional video. Out of bounds right around the goal line. They'll try the run. Looks as if he'll work his way forward and get it up to about the 11-yard line. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Oh, it's a reverse. And the dogs get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Using his legs at CTN. Across the 25, he's got room. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, the defense knew coming into this one, Reese, that this team was going to try to use their speed and take advantage of it, and they did right there. Nice gain on the run play to the right. Found plenty of running room in that defense. They've got to find a way to get there and make the tackle in the open field. Yeah, and they got to do a good job with their eyes, finding the football, and they've got to get a lot of bodies to this guy because he is fast. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the right. Pulls it in. The expressway is wide open. You want to talk about shifting the field in an instant. He's got it all the way down to the 10-yard line. That's a They move the tight end all over. They'll go to the ground. Ripping through the defense. Touchdown, dogs! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. They want to finish the season strong, and man, are they doing that here in this Week 11 performance. This defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 21. Mississippi State, zero. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably score pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. And wings it incomplete. After the misfire, now on second down. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle, it's Davis. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Out of the shotgun on third down. And the quarterback is snowed under. 
Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He gets a block. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. A first down for the offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Fires to the big fella. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They'll line up for a second down play. Fires to the tight end. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Grab near the sticks. It's Humphreys. Delivers the contact. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. After the misfire, it's second and 10. He's looking to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. Aga trying to make this red zone trip pay off. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. Caught near the sticks. It's Bell. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business first and goal. This offense has been a juggernaut, and they have a chance to pad their total just before halftime. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. Makes the catch. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, and it's money time. It's third and goal. You've got the option. You can run the football, still be balanced. Use the big fellow, the tight end. I love it down here because he can act like he's blocking, slip out, and get open. And then he's got that big body. You just throw it to him, and he does the rest. Getting set for the point the after. Is on for the extra point. And the extra point makes it 28 to nothing. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown. And they close that drive going to the air for the final few inches and the score. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. They'll ride Davis here. They stop him after a short game, probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, you've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far today in Starkville. And we'd be remiss if we didn't start this halftime report by acknowledging the sparkling play of this tight end. The guy's like an aircraft carrier out there as a blocker. And then when he releases and shows off that speed and route running, he's almost unguardable. Gotta believe he won't be able to go anywhere in this second half without someone attached to his hip. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Davis Wade Stadium. Mississippi State has it teed up, ready to go here in the second half. Returner's going to try to see what he can get. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. 
This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute them. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Grab behind the line. It's Evans. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. He makes the connection. Powers through. And he is marked out of bounds after another big game. This aerial attack has had no problem moving the ball with chunk plays. The Bulldogs have it with a first and ten. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. From the shotgun, they'll run it. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Got it in the middle. It's Evans. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. This Georgia offense moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down. The throw. And good coverage and better hands by the defender to knock it down in the end zone. Let's see what they've got on second down. Trying play action. This time on target. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. Caught on the outside. It's ETN. Looks as if they'll send out the field goal unit. He'll line it up from the right side. A 37-yarder coming up. Just drives it between the uprights. And they just tack on a little more to this gargantuan lead. They keep pushing that Number lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. Leaves it with the back. Fighting off the defender. They need him to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. They'll try to spread out this defense on second and three with a four wide out set. Fires to the wide out. Grabbed in the middle. It's Mosley. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They'll go four wide, three to the left on second and eight. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. And he's knocked down, but there's also laundry on the field. We'll see what the officials have called. Some hand fighting at the point of the catch will draw the penalty, but this one is going to go against the offense. The play action fake. He's got an open man. And he gets a big chunk of yardage to the 34-yard line. A nice job by the offense there, attacking the middle of the field. Excellent route, finding the soft spot in the defense. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it right on his guy. Movement here from the tight end. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Finds a man on the right. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Mississippi State. 
one of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch. They've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, Dave, and hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. He'll try to tack on one more. The extra point is good, but the lead is still big, down 31-7. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. NC State is currently trailing in this one, but it feels like the tide may be turning. This pack team has picked itself up before, and they are capable of it again today. Looking to go up top on first down. They've avoided the interception all day, but they were lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Find his tight end. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. To the ground to try to move the chains. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Georgia sends out the punt team. He gets the first one off, and he was busier than he hoped in that loss last week, being called on five times. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Pushes ahead for a couple, they'll mark it at the 33. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He'll pull it on the read. I think a lot of quarterbacks like those defenses that will be passive and let you let it slowly develop. Now, nah, this defense, you could tell, they were aggressive and attacking, and it really paid off. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And this defense is smelling blood right now. Like, they know they got him right where they want him. Got him in a third down and long. They got a lead by three possessions. Everything is going their way. This offense is in trouble. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today. And no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Pulls it in. It's ETN. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. Quickly to the tight end. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. Caught in the backfield, it's Humphreys. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the right. Makes the grab. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that. Georgia going back to work with another first down. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. The inside handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After that last loss, it's second and 12. The give to the lone running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. 
Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. It's reverse. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. So they'll send out the field goal unit. And he'll try this one from the left hash and 33 yards away. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And now the lead is extended a little further. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Pressure coming. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Not one, but two sacks on the day and possibly more to come. Still time left in this football game, and this is a beatdown. You know all passes are coming. This offensive line better do a better job. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And he'll make the grab along the sideline, but he's not able to get to the first down mark. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double check to make sure. Mississippi State comes out after picking up the first down. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. He'll come out throwing on first down. Got it behind the line. It's Davis. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Brings up second down. The aerial assault continues. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. He's looking downfield to throw. And they got him for the sack. As a defensive lineman, let me tell you something. This is hunting season. This is when you pin your ears back and you absolutely fly to the quarterback. And you can see it. They know it's pass, and they get to him again. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it's batted away, and the fourth down play doesn't convert. They'll give up the football. They've got the big fellas out there. A three tight end look on first and ten. Throws to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. And they take another look at the play with the officials on the field. We're right, and the play will stand. He's got it and still on his feet. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Running back searching for a hole. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Toss sweep to the right. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And the route is on. Boy, do they need that score. Gave them a little cushion as they try to put a stop to this two-game slide. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Georgia, 
41. Mississippi State, 7. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. We'll see if that failed fourth down in their own end last time, David, sort of curbed some of the aggressiveness. Well, you hear about it all the time in football. Go for it. Be aggressive. The problem is when you get stopped, sometimes it puts you in a hole. And, Jesse, now the offense has to come out and respond. They were real disappointed not getting that first down. You can see it on the sideline. So let's just see if that's going to galvanize them a little bit here to go make a statement and get some points. He's going to pass. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And how about this offense, man? It, it's been a rough day. You're getting beat down. You're trying to find some kind of momentum late in the game to build something off of, and you give up another sack. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. He's looking to throw. He makes the catch. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Let's it fly on the move. And the DB right with him to knock it away. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Finds his man and they convert. He's into the open down the middle. Touchdown, Mississippi State. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. The result of this game is going to sting for sure, but you've got to continue to build, you've got to improve, and you can take some positives out of this late hustle and build for next week. There's always positives, and coaches are always looking for those things that we did well. What did we do well so we can do more of it in the future? Finding some things here late that they did well. Lining up to add another. Bangs it through for an extra point. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Vanderbilt is down big on the scoreboard, and for a program that traditionally struggles to score, I think we know where this one is headed. They're trailing by 15 to Auburn. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Gets it out quickly. Moves up to the 34-yard line. Give him a 10-yard pickup. Lining up from the 34 on first down. And first down for the offense. Here's the handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Off play action. Looking to the big tight end. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. The handoff keep working on that clock. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. Georgia lining up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Here comes the Mississippi State offense ready to attack. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. He finds his man. A little more space opened up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's Davis. 
And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. Ball in the air, intercepted! And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today, too, David. They had a really good game plan coming into this one, and they went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We can kick them in the face. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. The give from the gun. Keeps the legs moving. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Well, they say you win a few, you lose a few, and some get rained out. Would have been good for this team if this one had gotten rained out because they lost badly. Yeah, not a lot to be too proud about in this one here. Good news is you get to go back to the drawing board. You get to go back, you get to have another week of practice as a coaching staff, try and find ways to get players in position to go out and make plays. Going to need a big locker room speech after this one, David. Yeah, and you're going to watch this tape, and it's going to hurt because you're going to watch the coaches, and you're going to see the mess-ups and all the things you could have done better. But you got to learn from it. you got to get better. you got to grow, and that's how that works. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.